Is 20 possible today? Is it possible to get 20 in one day? All right, up here in uh, Northwest Georgia, going to uh, explore some of these clear creeks. Looks really low, really clear. So should be good for finding some turtles. Uh, the goal today is striped neck musk turtles. Um, I always like to try and find these guys in the fall because they tend to be out in pretty good numbers in the fall during the middle of the day. So we'll see if that's the case today. So let's go. These shallow water riffles are really good for finding these guys. They're gonna be up in here foraging on um, snails, little seeds, berries, uh, small clams, really anything that they can kind of find in this. Uh, they're kind of going through it and getting, you know, some good weight on them before they're under for the winter. Uh, the water is pretty chilly. Uh, these turtles do like cooler water. crayfish. Um, I believe it also may be the Kusa crayfish, um, but just look at those colors on the claws. That thing is insane. And I don't have a very good grip on it, but you can see they've got like, you know, blues and oranges and just as far as crayfish go, that is pretty stunning. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Ah, gotcha. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looks like a female, older female. Look at the head on that. Beautiful striped neck moss turtle. Really, really stoked. So number one for today, and look at that shell shape. I mean, just so flat, tapered open for that big head. Awesome, these guys get really big heads up here. All right, let's let her go. One thing that's neat about this place is underwater, there's these long like shelf-like rocks and they just give like tons of places for things to hide and for plant life to grow and just really perfect for for the turtles to enjoy and and the fish and everything and it's, it's just such a cool habitat so i'm just trying to scan everything that almost looks like a big turtle but it's not and that is the tricky part is these musk turtles blend in perfectly with the uh, round cobblestone uh, that you find in this stream you'll sit here and You'll swear you see a turtle and ends up just being a rock. And then sometimes you think you see a rock and it ends up being a turtle. It can fool even the best of us, which is, you know, a okay with me, man. I love, I love seeing stuff make camouflage work. All right, again, when I'm out in the habitat like this and the water's clear enough to where I can just wade and look through the water, get these. These are like, I think they're like 14 bucks at Walmart and they help you see straight through the water. They cut through the water in just such a great way um, it's the difference between finding maybe one turtle and finding 15 or 20 turtles. I mean, it, they literally work that good. Um, I'm sure there are better brands out there than this, but uh, I don't have a sponsor and um, I'm not a rich fella, so I get the Walmart ones and I don't feel bad if I mess them up either. <laughs> So found this guy foraging on the bottom. This is a really old male. He's got like holes. I mean like multiple holes like that in his shell. Not really sure what that's from, um, but just a really old turtle, but still very beautiful. I mean, these striped neck musk turtles are just gorgeous. I mean, such bright colors and so awesome and so laid back. So we're gonna let this guy go back in the pool he was in and we will see him maybe in a few years, maybe never again, but I'm just glad that uh, we got to see him kind of doing his thing. Uh, hanging out on the bottom and, and that's what these guys do is they hang out on the bottom and they look just like that And you can see how easily they blend in perfect. I love it
So just up from that male is this really, really pudgy female. And you can see her skin's all red. Uh, that's from the capillaries absorbing oxygen from the water. And uh, she was just kind of sitting, blending in with the bottom. And again, another very old, very large, ancient female. And these guys are just so cool. You can see those giant jaws. Such a beautiful turtle. So this little female is a pretty good example of the classic striped neck musk turtle pattern. Uh, you can see that beautiful gold color with the stripes kind of coming and forming uh, just behind the head. Nice yellow shell. I mean, this is uh, what makes these guys the most beautiful of the North American musk turtles, in my opinion, is just, just this appearance and just, uh, I mean, look at them, man. They're like a little gold nugget you find on the bottom of these streams. I mean. I don't know if you can top that. Really stoked that I found one this cleanly patterned. Um, this is exactly what I came here to see. And this is the fourth turtle I've seen. And it, I'm noticing it seems to be a lot of the older turtles are out right now. So um, it's also getting to the point where I walk every few steps and I'm coming across a turtle. So pretty excited. I'm uh, gonna let this girl go after some pictures and then we'll see if we get some more. But just look at that. I mean, that is like the, the field guide textbook, you know, Striped neck moss turtle, Sternotherus peltifer. Wow, no nose. Alright, so the next turtle is this big female. I mean, she is huge. And uh, she has no nose. And I actually caught this turtle many, many years ago, probably getting close to 10 years, uh, right in this exact same spot. And I just remember her because she has no nose and it, it actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's actually a pretty clean look. So um, really cool to be able to see this turtle again. And one thing I'm noticing is I'm finding them all kind of in these deeper pools just before and just after those swift areas. So seems like the uh, big adults are the ones that are out. So we're gonna let her go and uh, put her near this rock. You ready, girl? Okay, go for it. She's just gonna scoot right along the bottom and uh, good to see her again. So as I was filming that female with no nose, this guy was actually on the bottom in the background. Um, so I let her go, took a step forward and found this little juvenile male sitting on the bottom. And they're so funny at this size. Usually they're actually pretty flighty. So this actually breaks up the streak of large adults and actually get a juvenile. So that's really cool. Good to see the uh, different size classes being present here. All right, so one of the things that makes these turtles so unique is that when you think of reptiles uh, as a whole being ectotherms and you know turtles being reptiles, um, you really associate them with the need to be warm, the need to kind of get as warm as they can. And one thing that makes these striped neck musk turtles so unique is that they do the best, they're the most abundant in these cool water, these spring fed, these cold trout streams. You know, these waters, when you get into them, any time of the year it's cold it you know it hurts your legs to get into here and this is where these turtles do the best they're in here and they're just you know feeding on all of these little snails i mean you can see them all over the rocks and that's what makes them do the best you know it's teeming with fish and crustaceans and just uh little beautiful crayfish and there's a nice size one right now that's another one of these big ones that i've been finding so let's pick this one up check this one out look at you are a monster just a big old female look at that and the way that they adapt 
over time to eating those snails, their shell is going to get that fluted appearance and it opens up real wide to house that head with the huge jaw muscles, expanded jaw crushing surfaces, and they just become these huge, you know, awesome musk turtles. And then that pink bottom, lots of uh, exposed skin and there's capillaries in this skin and that helps them process oxygen and, able to, and it enables them to stay underwater longer, um, you know, running along the bottom because sometimes they'll actually go to really deep pools and these guys are not the best swimmers. They have tiny little legs, their shells are heavy, their heads are heavy. So this way it gives them the time to be able to gradually climb up, you know, an incline or find a log or something. So it works out really well and these are just so unique. I was a little skeptical if this smaller uh, creek draining into the other one would have any in it because uh, it runs through a cattle pasture. But right here, got a nice looking, looks like a female the way it's so round. Uh, let's check this gal out. Come here, friend. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect little round female. Another just classic female, just that classic striped neck musk turtle pattern. Absolutely beautiful, fantastic. I, I'm super stoked. I love finding them when they look like this. Just the, the textbook striped neck moss turtle. This girl go in these clear shallows. We can kind of watch her take off. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. And they just instinctually go for that deeper water. That's where they're most comfortable. Awesome. I'm gonna walk a little bit more. We'll see if we get another one. So far that's eight. All right, striped neck moss turtle number nine. It's just nestled right here in between these two rocks. I think it's Hoping that I don't see it, but I do. Looks like it uh, could be a male. It has that more elongate shape that the males have. Yep, that is a good sized male. And he was just sitting there in between those two rocks. Good looking turtle. So we're gonna release this guy and keep going, see how many we get. All right, so I got one right here about to go into a leaf pack. I'll try and grab it before it disappears. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Number 11, oop, number 12 right there. Let's see if I can get both of these in hand at the same time. All right, don't bite me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number 11 and number 12. Two of these guys, same time. Pretty stoked on that, right next to each other. Um, and this is so typical of these guys is if you get into the right section of stream, you'll just find them all together in one area. So really stoked on that. So gonna shoot some photos of these guys and then let them go. Third day, there you go. Woo Two different directions, awesome. All right, it's getting pretty late in the day. Um, kinda seeing if I see anything else before I turn around and head back. Going back, I gotta just be careful that I don't find anything and then count it that I've already counted. All right, so right here in front of me is number 13. I'm gonna try and catch this one. She's ready to take off. Looks like a female, sorry. I say she without actually having it in hand, but let's take, let's take a look. Ugh. There we go, and bam, right again, it's a female. What a pretty girl, and this, again, big, beautiful. Such an awesome turtle, so lucky number 13 in the creek today, so having a really good day. I'm really stoked. Um, I'm kind of getting to the end of the day and probably gonna have to turn around in a little bit, but um, I think so far I'm at least tied up uh, with my day last year in Alabama. So can uh, get a couple pictures of this one because it's a really nice one and then let it go. Let's let this girl go. Here you go, friend. See you the next time I'm out here. Hope you have a good little life and a, a healthy winter. <laughs> She's gonna go right up into that. That's gotta be like a, a city under there just full of striped necks. That is exactly what they love, those huge trees with the root masses. All right, still cruising right along. This is a nice one. I can tell it was lightly colored. Yeah, look at that, that's a nice male. Look at that guy. Big honking head. <laughs> He's kind of funny looking. You can see the, the shell just is like shaped like a doorstop as Grover Brown puts it, and it, it really is. It's like a wedge and it's made just for that huge head. That huge head is, you know, takes up like so much room in there that they have to grow around it. So um, just a classic, classic male striped neck musk turtle. I don't know if it gets any better as far as males go. This is definitely the nicest male we've seen today. All right, so while I was standing there flapping my gums about the male striped neck musk turtle, right behind him was a female foraging in the shallows. So scooped her up and now you can see both of them together. Oh, don't hurt each other. And uh, you, get, you can get a good look at both of them right here. And um, yeah, just beautiful, 
beautiful striped neck musk turtles. So I'm gonna let these guys go. And um, I've got like a little bit more I can do. We've now hit, this is 14 and 15. Is 20 possible today? Is it possible to get 20 in one day? All right, so not sure if I'm gonna run out of battery first on my phone. Um, I also have maxed out the SD card on the GoPro, so hopefully I can keep recording. I'm just gonna go until I don't have anything left. But uh, so far, 15 striped neck moss turtles. I'm really stoked on that. And I mean, the, you have there's no idea how many I've walked right past. Their camouflage is so good that, you know, I know for a fact I've probably walked past just as many, if not more. And if there was a better, there's no more better example of how well they camouflage than the fact that I walked past not only one of these guys right here, but two. Right here is, I believe, 16 and 17. And I just walked right up through here and didn't even see them. So that tells you how well they camouflage. Let's check these guys out. So this looks like a small, whoa, squirrely little female. She is fast. Yep. Oh, I'm wrong. That is a little male. And let's check this out. This is, are you another male or are you a female? You are a good sized female. So that's pretty cool. And I do see that a lot in these turtles that you'll usually have a female and then a male nearby. So that's very, very cool. And like we were talking about, man, that camouflage, like you would think that they would stand out being that green color, but you know, it's really easy for you to kind of skip right over them. So awesome, I'm so stoked. Okay, so it must be this uh, this little confluence of these different little oxygenated areas because I let those two go over there and then this guy was sitting right here. So um, they really do well in these areas and they're always kind of positioning themselves to kind of be feeding in areas like this. So I was pretty stoked. So this is number 18 and we're just gonna let him go kind of set him right here in this little ripple and he can kind of take off when he's ready. I'm gonna keep scanning in case there are some more adults here. So this is a uh, in situ and this is a, looks like a female foraging. You can see her little butt sticking out right there. And this is also a good time to show the effect of the glasses. Check that out. You can see so much better with these on and that's how I'm able to spot them is they really bring up the contrast and they show you the turtle. Such a pretty girl. Really, really stoked. All right, so there we are, 19 and 20. 20 in a day. Um, I only had a little short time today. I had a lot of stuff I was doing at the house and I have a lot of stuff I gotta get back to when I get back home, but um, I'm really stoked that I was able to find these 20 striped neck musk turtles doing well in this stream. I mean, if I were to keep going upstream, I'd probably even find more. Um, I'm just really stoked that they're doing so well and that, you know, hopefully release all these guys and come back and find them all again, you know, another year from now or two years from now and see them doing this well. So really, really stoked. Thank you guys for so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it for the turtles, man. Like it for the turtles. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend. All right, you see what happens when you stick around after the outro? 21, I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Thanks for watching.